Hello everyone! Today, we are going to discuss the learning task for week number 4. And this is all about the rectangular coordinate system. So, let's do this! Okay, take a look at the figure. For learning task number 1, letter A, locate me. As you can see, we have different places on the figure. We have the parking garage, the Taylor Hall, the student center, the library, the administration, the engineering building, the residence hall, the tiger field, and the stadium. Now on this diagram, let us represent the figure with this line as the x-axis. And as you can see, we have numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 going to the right. And we also have the y-axis. So on the y-axis, we have letters D, C, B, A. Now, question. How are we going to locate the following places? For example, let us try to find the location of the student center. What are we going to do? Take a look at this. The student center is located on the second unit on the x-axis as you can see on the arrow it is also located on the letter b y-axis therefore what is the location of the student center very good that is 2 comma b or 2b to represent the location on the x-axis and B represent the Y coordinate. So we have 2, comma, B. Let us have another example. The residence hall. Where can we locate the residence hall? As you can see, the residence hall is on the 4 units X axis and on letter A, Y axis. Therefore, what is the location of the residence hall? Very good. 4, comma, A. 4 is the value of the X coordinate and A is the value for the Y coordinate. So we have 4, comma, A. Now, for your learning task, find the location of the following. So, again, you can use the value for the X axis and Y axis. So we have number one, the location of the parking garage. Here is the parking garage. Number two, the location of the Taylor Hall. This is the Taylor Hall. Number three, the location of the library. This is the library. Number four, the location of the administration. This is administration. Number five, the location of the engineering building. Number 6, we have the residence hall. O, oh, ba? May bonus na kayo. Number 7, the tiger field. And number 8, the stadium. So, you have 8 items on learning task number 1, letter A, locate me. Again, you are going to find the location using coordinates. Okay, let's proceed to the next. Learning task Number one, letter B, represent me. Direction, use positive or negative number to express the change in the following situations. Example, take a look at this example. An increase, we have the word increase of 10 pesos in the transportation pair. Anong ibig sabihin niyan? Tumaas ng magkaano ng 10 pesos. So, how are we going to represent? So, using positive because of increase and the number 10. So, the answer will be positive 10. That is the increase of 10 pesos. Another example, 2 points was deducted from his final score. 2 points. And then we have deducted. So, ano ba ibig sabihin ng deducted? Very good. Binawasan. Nang ilan? Nang dalawang puntos. That's why we have here negative 2. 
negative represents deduction and the number 2. Alright? Last example. His body temperature is 3 degrees higher than normal. 3 degrees higher. Mas mataas. It means we are going to use positive kasi mas mataas. And then the number 3. That represent 3 degrees. So we have the answer positive 3. So let us have now your active. Number 9. Temperature in region 12 rises up to 36 degrees Celsius. Number 10. You have one uh, you have 10 pesos savings from your allowance. Number 11. Due to COVID-19, the price of a liter gasoline decreased by 3 pesos. Number 12. There are 5 points demerits from passing a requirement late. Oh, nabawasan demerit. Number 13. He got a test score of 4 points above the passing mark. Number 14. The temperature of a freezer is set at 16 degrees below zero. And number 15. It is freezing point of water. What is the freezing point of water? So that is number 15. Okay? So you have time to uh, take a screenshot of the given task. In 5 seconds, go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so let's proceed to the next learning task. Learning task number 2. Allocate the object. Okay, so in this given figure, we already have the rectangular coordinate plane. We have the x-axis and we have the y-axis. Now, on the uh, coordinate plane, we have different things. We have the ball which is located here, the pillow, the television, the table, the camera, the uh, bag, the laptop, and the spoon. So, we are going to describe the location of each point. Let us have an example. Okay. So, let us try to find the location of the ball. Observe. That is the point where we can locate the ball. The ball is located on 4 units in the X coordinate. 4 units. And it is located positive 2 on Y coordinates. Therefore, what is the location of the ball? Very good. That is 4, 2. 4 is the X coordinate and 2 is the Y coordinate. How about another example? The table. What do you think is the location of the table? The table is located negative 2 on X axis and positive 2 on the Y axis. Therefore, what is the location of the table? Very good. That is negative 2, comma 2. Negative 2 for the X coordinate and positive 2 for Y coordinate. The ball is located on quadrant 1 since that is located on the upper right of the Cartesian plane or as you can see, we have positive for X and positive for Y. And the table is located on quadrant 2 since it is on the left side of quadrant 1. And as you can see, we have a negative value for the X coordinate and positive value for Y coordinate. Now, for your learning task number 2, letter A. Find the coordinates of the following. We have spoon, you are going to write the coordinates, the X and Y, and then on which quadrant? Is it on quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, or quadrant 4? The television set, the laptop, the bag, and the pillow. You are going to find the coordinates and each quadrant. Okay, so let's proceed to the next Learning task number two, let's do this. Illustrate that 
the following are linear equation in two variables by filling up the table. So we have here the given equation. They are not written in standard form. So what you are going to do, the equation, we are going to rewrite the equation in standard form. And then after you rewrite the equation in standard form, identify the value of A, B, and C. So, you're going to write here what is the value of A, what is the value of B, and what is the value of C. Same with this item. And, you're just going to check if it is linear equation in two variables. If that is yes, you're going to check yes. But if that is no, you're going to check no. Okay? So, for video tutorial, we have a separate tutorial on how to write uh, equation, linear equation, into standard form and how to identify the value of A, B, and C. You're just going to visit our Math Ocho na FB page or Math Ocho YouTube channel. Just search rewriting linear equation in standard form para masagutan nyo yung mga nandyan sa ating table. Okay? So, I think, let's proceed to the next learning task. Okay. Learning task number 3. Find my slope. Ano? Ah, learning task number 2. Letter C. Find my slope. So, on our figure, we have the rectangular coordinate plane. Let us have an example. We have here point 1 and point 2 and then we have the graph of the line. So, given the graph, we are going to find the slope. But how? Okay, we have the formula in finding the slope given a graph, which is rise over run. In symbol, m is equal to rise over run. How to find the rise? So, rise is upward or downward movement, while run is going to the right or going to the left. So, take a look at the given graph. Let us start at this point. Okay, so from this point, we are going to move upward. It means positive. Now, how many units? So, we move 4 units upward. Therefore, our rise is a positive 4. How about run? So, from this point, dito tayo nag-stop. Paano tayo makakarating dito sa pangalawang point? Okay, so we move to the right. The question, how many units? We move 3 units to the right. Therefore, what is the value of our run? Very good. That is positive 3. Therefore, what is our slope? So, the slope is 4 over 3. 4, the numerator because we move 4 units upward. And 3, the denominator because we move 3 units to the right. That is how we find the slope given a graph. Do you want another example? Okay, let us have another example. So, we have the graph. Take a look at the graph. We have here two points. So, using the rise over run, let us find the slope. Okay, we move upward three units. So, that is positive three. And from this point, we move to the left two units to the left. So, if that is going to the left, that is negative. So, based from this, what will be our rise over run? Very good. Positive 3 and negative 2. Now, what is our slope? The slope is negative 3 over 2. So, that is how we find the slope given a graph. Now, for your learning task, okay. So, you're going to find the slope for item number 1. So, this is the point and this is the another point. As you can see, yung ating units by 2s. Ibig sabihin, yung gitna niyan, that is negative 1. Ito naman, yung gitna rito, ng 2 and 4, that is positive 3. So, that is number 1. Go, you can take a screenshot. Next, number 2. So, etong point na to, nakatapat sa negative 2. Ito naman, isang point na to, nakatapat sa positive 2. So, again, you are going to apply rise over 
run. That is item number 1 and item number 2. And this will be item number 3 and item number 4. So item number 3 natin, ito yung isang point. Nakatapat siya sa positive 1 ng x. At this is the other point. Nakatapat naman siya sa negative 3. And this is our item number 4. Ito yung isang point. Nakatapat siya sa negative 4. At ito naman yung isang point. Nakatapat din sa negative 4. Again, ang ia-apply nyo dyan is rise over run. Alright? Are you done uh, taking the screenshot? So, let's move on. Assimilation. Learning task number 3. Based from what you've learned in our different video tutorial, in our discussion, you're just going to complete the statement. Alright? So, number 1. The point with coordinates negative 5, 3 can be graphed on the blank coordinate system. Ano kaya itong blank na to? Answer only on your paper. Next, number 2. The coordinates of the origin is... Yan, okay. So, ano kaya coordinate yan? Blank, kama blank. O, diba? Na-discuss natin yan. Next, number 3. The vertical axis of the Cartesian plane is called blank o ano daw ang tawag dun sa vertical axis yung nakatayo sa ating Cartesian plane number 4 the horizontal axis of the Cartesian plane is called the blank o ano naman yung nakahiga na axis number 5 the pair of 2 comma 4 is an blank pair o bigyan ko kayo ng clue nagsisimula sa letter O is a blank pair. Ano kaya ang tawag dito sa 2 comma 4 na to? Okay? Next, number 6. In the ordered pair, 0 comma negative 8, the negative 8 is called the blank. O ano yung value ng negative 8 dyan? Ano siya dyan? Dito sa 0 comma negative 8. Next, number 7. In the ordered pair, 5 comma 9, o ano naman yung tawag dun sa 5? etong 5 na to. Number 8, the x-coordinate can also be called as blank. O, bibigyan ko kayo ng clue. Nag-start sa letter A. Next, number 9, the four regions formed by the coordinate axis are called the blank. O, bibigyan ko ulit kayo ng clue. Nagsisimula sa letter Q. And number 10, the intersection of the coordinate axis is called the blank. Bibigyan ko ulit kayo ng clue nagsisimula sa letter O. So, you have 10 items for complete me. Next, we have letter B, trivia. Which city of China had the COVID-19 pandemia started? Nako, kung alam nyo ka agad yan, base dito sa ating ano, masasagutan nyo yan. Ilang letters ba yun? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. O, oh, 5 letters lang. Ibig sabihin, dito sa choices na to, meron dyang 5 na solution sa ordered pair, which is kama 1, kama 2. Alin dito sa mga linear equation na to, na kapag nyo at sinubstitute mo yung value na 1, kama 2, anong ibig sabihin yan? Yung value ng x ay papaltan mo ng 1, at yung value ng y ay papaltan mo ng 2, pag sinolve mo, equal ang magiging sagot. Ibig sabihin, yung letter na yon ay kasali dito. Alright? Ibig sabihin, yung 1 comma 2 ay solution ng equation na yan. So, tanong, which of the following linear equation that if you substitute the value of 1 comma 2, the result will be equal. It means, 1 comma 2 is a solution. At alin naman dyan is not a solution. So, kung solution, yung letter na nagko-corresponds, isusulat nyo dito sa answer. Clue, ilang letters? Lima. Then, makakabuo kayo ng words kung saan nagsimula ang COVID-19 pandemia. So, and I will upload a separate video tutorial dito sa uh, How to Find a Solution of the Equation. Kung willing kayong panoorin para mayroon kayong pattern. Alright? So, let's proceed to the last learning task. Letter C. So, what is my slope? Find the slope and describe the graph of the line. 
So, as you can see, we have your number 1, 2, and 3. We are going to find the slope given 2 points. So, dalawa lang ang pwedeng gawin nyo dyan. Pwede nyo i-graph muna ito, katulad ng mga nauna nating video kanina, tsaka nyo i-rise over run. Or pwede nyo i-solve ito gamit yung formula. What is our formula? Y sub 1 minus Y sub 2 all over X sub 1 minus X sub 2. At mag a ako rito ng uh, bukod na video tutorial para mas uh, maintindihan nyo. No? And on number 4 and number 5, meron naman tayo rito ng equation. So paano makukuha ang slope kapag equation ang gamit? So madali lang, i-change nyo lang yung equation into y equals mx plus b. Kailangan maging ganyan na equation. So paano? mag upload rin ako ng ibang video tutorial dito para mas maintindihan nyo. Wherein, pag nakuha nyo yung m, yun na yung slope. So that's it. That is all about our learning task for week number 4 which is a rectangular coordinate system. So I hope you learn at sana maipasa nyo yung ating mga learning task on time. So sa papel na lang yan and guys sagot na lang. Thank you very much. Happy learning!